Six students are embarking on their new journey in the forces to become air battle managers, a tough and mentally grueling challenge to become part of a group of guardians protecting our skies from enemy threats in a joint effort with the United States Air Force protecting the safety of our two nations. Welcome, I'm Captain Nesbitt and I will be your master of ceremonies. We are here to recognize the accomplishments of the most recent graduates of the Royal Canadian Air Force Air Battle Manager Course, who have successfully completed a rigorous training program that includes numerous hours of simulated and live exercises. I also want to recognize the hard work of the instructors, standards, and administrative staff that worked diligently to make this course the success that it was, and without whom the students would not have completed all requirements, and I surely would have lost my mind. I would like to start by taking a few minutes to introduce our guest of honor, Colonel Richard Gillette, 22 Wing Commander. That's my first uh, lesson to you is that whether you think you're complete today, really you're not. You're always going to have someone looking over your shoulder, always someone being part of a team, and that's what makes our occupations, our community so great. So after this graduation, I feel really bittersweet. Um, I'm really grateful for everybody and I'm just really thankful to be here today. In the next few weeks, months, years, is never cease to improve yourself. You should be running to get to every single mission you can do. I want you to do that. I want you to get really good at your job. I don't need you to do two or three master's degree. Every little thing that you do helps you to improve yourself. I think what makes or breaks a course is what you make of it, how you interact with your course mates. As a brand new ABM, I really want you to focus on the basics and continue to develop those, uh, those skills as a controller. I'm feeling really excited and relieved that the course is done. Uh, you really have to uh, be supported by your classmate. Uh, wartime for me was, I really need to push through it. I think there's something beautiful to um, discovering new limits and pushing your boundaries a little bit further. Promote professional culture improvements to, to, so that we can embrace a diverse team that is inclusive in everything that we do. We can't fix our culture by ourselves, so you are all part of a team that's going to do little baby steps to make things better one step at a time. If you see something that's not good, do something about it. Don't just suffer in silence. Don't let other people suffer in silence. We all put a lot of like hard work and effort into this course. So to be able to be at the end and say we did it is like a really great feeling. Graduating from Air Battle Manager Course 2301, Second Lieutenant Elizabeth Mime Audette. Second Lieutenant Audette is now being promoted to Lieutenant. Lieutenant Audette is now being promoted to Captain. Graduating from Air Battle Manager Course 2301, Second Lieutenant Monica Dada Chung. Second Lieutenant Chung is now being promoted to Lieutenant. Graduating from Air Battle Manager Course 2301, Second Lieutenant Sydney Derby Gobey. Second Lieutenant Gobey is now being promoted to Captain. Graduating from Air Battle Manager Course 2301, Second Lieutenant Oscar Footloose Carcoot. Second Lieutenant Carcoot is now being promoted to Lieutenant. Graduating from Air Battle Manager Course 2301, Second Lieutenant Mark Rick St. Pierre Belanger. Second Lieutenant St. Pierre Belanger is now being promoted to Lieutenant. Graduating from Air Battle Manager Course 2301, Second Lieutenant Samantha Phonix Doma. Second Lieutenant Doma is now being promoted to Lieutenant. Lieutenant Doma is also the recipient of the Top Student Award. Congratulations on your remarkable achievements, Lieutenant Doma. Please join me in congratulating all of the graduates. Well done, all of you.
Their journey to become an air battle manager is complete. Now they will continue their career joining an elite group whose mission is to be the watchful eye that keeps our skies safe. If you could only have seen all the actual sweat and tears that have been put into this course, I think it would have been something beautiful um, to see all the teamwork that came together and all the hours we spent together laughing and crying, actually crying, and pushing forward despite all our emotions and pushing for the end.